thing that is hoped for would be the creation of another one of these pedestrian bikeway bridges sort of coming off of where that one is to make this suck a little bit less but it's anyone's guess whether that's going to happen. Now I'll just return going down the way I came and see how it looks from this side of the street in this game of human frogger. This old rail yard is the CSX thing I visited last year. They seem to have secured it a bit. The Commonwealth owns it now and there's some hope that it will be part of another way out of this mess. The Worcester line coming in. <clears throat> because one can find another way to get into Cambridge via this rail yard it ends up crossing the Charles over below the BU bridge and there's room for a bike lane system in one of the two railroad bridges the other one still uses is used by CSX to deliver produce to Everett Looks like Harvard finally got a bit of fencing on its new trophy. I was here last year and this was just all wide open. Kind of glad I get in and got the material I got on it. It's closed now. Looks like someone's cousin in the chain link fence industry got a job out of it. This is where they would try to go to get to Cambridge without going through Cambridge Street. Note here, the impossibly narrow and shitty sidewalk, which has to be shared more or less by pedestrians and bicyclists, so I'll try to hug the edge. As you can see, the manic motorists are not psyched to be offering any kind of access space for people who have the temerity to use a bicycle. <laughs> Good lord, this is such a hideous culture. The neighborhood would be pretty stunning if they only could figure out a way to fix this crap. It really is an asset being treated like a liability. And here we have Harvard actually acknowledging its ownership of this disaster area section. Here's your main Harford Ave entree into the human frogger hell zone. And as you'll see, up ahead, here's the probable unusually heinous element where the manic motorists in their headlong rush to get onto Pike and do whatever it is they gotta do they are likely to completely flatten humans who have the temerity to walk or ride a bicycle <laughs> it's a real armpit I tell ya You can see a hydrant that took a hit from some manic motorist. They had to come quite a ways off at the sidewalk to do that. And it does underscore the problem 
of attempting. Oh, look, and there's where some other idiot bashed the fence. Obviously, this is not done by pedestrians or bicyclists. And lo and behold, there's the rally I learned about in their forlorn little hazardous spot with some Boston cops doing the blue light thing. Looks like they picked a pretty good spot. You can't call enough attention to how much this particular thing sucks. There goes a bold bicyclist running up the middle. <laughs> sign I was looking at, as you can see, it says test something or other. So they're just farting around and it's not terribly visible to the caffeinated motorists anyway. It's a kind of Potemkin thing where the city's attempting to look as if they're maybe sort of kind of almost possibly thinking of doing something. <laughs> it's the Boston way. Pedestrians and motorists, there we are, here in the caffeinated wasteland. This is, I believe, the area where a few people have been killed or seriously injured for having the temerity for, of trying to get to Cambridge. And this is where it more or less coalesces. This is the small crew of people who showed up at 8 in the morning to essentially call attention to how god-awful this stupid interchange is and the fact that it's kind of a death trap or at least an injury pit. <laughs> Looks like they had a pretty nice turnout kind of thoughtful folks, a lot of bicycles, stuff's happening, even have someone with a suit. Anyway, having covered my duties on behalf of this thing, it's time to get on with my day.